In this video, we are going to see about Texicam LA24 panel. So, this panel by default comes with 8 zones and it can be expandable up to 24 zones using zone expanders. So, in this video, we are just going to see how I can use this 8 zone setup. So, here this is zone 1 and it's a 2-pin connector. So, zone 2, zone 3 and it will end with zone 8. Here, we used to connect all the sensors. So, now, second connection what we record is about the keypad. So, keypad part, if you see here, there are plus, minus and TR is there. So, this is the keypad connection port. The same way, on the keypad also, if you see, there will be a 4 pins, which is plus, minus and T and R. So now these four pins should get connected with the panel network port pins. So plus to plus, minus to minus, T to T and R to R. So this is the second connection about the keypad. In a project, if we have more than one keypad, then what need to do? The first keypad, the dip switch one can be in on condition or even if it is off condition also, it will take address ID one. And if you have a second keypad, then the dip switch number 2 should be on. So then only the panel will identify that it is having two keypads. So by default, this panel will support up to maximum four keypads. So first we saw the pin number details about zones. Second we saw about the keypad port where I need to connect it. So if we have in case if we have two keypads, both the keypads can get connected on the same pin plus minus T and R pins. So next pin is about the powering up this particular panel. So to power up this panel, you need a power card which should be get connected here. Here three pins are available. One is face, the down pin is face, second one is earth and third pin is on neutral. So this is the third pin connections. So if it is a new installation, first we have to connect the keypad with the panel. Second thing is give a 230 volt input to this particular panel and switch on it and check how the panel display is coming, whether it is booting normally or not. So that is the next step you have to do. So if it is functioning normally or if the display is working and if it is everything is okay then you can switch off and then you can start to connect the zone terminals now we will see the sounder connection on this particular panel if you see here there are five pins are available on the panel side which is plus 12 volt bell tamp zero volt and strobe the same way if the sounder is a Texicam sounder, the same 5 pins available on the sounder side also. So what need to do? We need to first we need to remove the jumper shorted between 0 volt and TAM terminal and we need to connect these all 5 terminals with the sounder. This is the way we can connect the Texicam sounder with this particular panel. And if the sounder is not a Texicam sounder, or some other make sounder then those sounders may have only two terminals plus 12 volt and ground in that scenario the plus 12 volt will get connected with the plus 12 on this particular panel board and the ground terminal will get connected on the bell port on this particular panel and if you have more than one sounder the second sounder can be connect between plus 12 volt and on the strobe so the plus or the positive terminal of the sounder will get connected with the plus 12 volt of this particular sounder terminal on the panel and the ground of the sounder will get connected on the strobe in on the particular panel so we can connect two sounders also at a time on this particular panel if required if we have a security sounder, if you are going to connect a security sounder, security sounder by default will have four terminals. So here I just showing only two terminals. By default it comes with the four terminal, red, black 
green and yellow so red and black normally we think that red and black is the polarity to connect the sounder no red and black is a tamper terminal so don't connect it with the sounder terminal on the panel you have to connect yellow and green here yellow is passive terminal you have to connect it with the plus 12 volt on this particular panel and green is the ground terminal which you have to connect it with well or you can connect it with even strobe also this is the third part so first we saw the zone details second we saw the keypad details now we saw the sounder pin details also so now we see some more details about the zones so when you connect any intrusion alarm system example you may have motion sensor you may have vibration sensor and you may have uh, other sensors which may require 12 volt power to switch on the sensor for that this particular panel will have a output auxiliary plus and minus terminal these are the two terminals can be used to power up the sensors so all the power terminals will get connected on this auxiliary terminal plus and minus and the alarm terminal from the sensor will get connected on the zones so this is the connection about example you have a shutter contact shutter contact don't require any power only the alarm terminal can get connected with the zones and if you have a magnetic contact or door contact that is also not required any power those alarm terminals can get connected with any of these zones next if you have a panic switch even panic switch also don't need any power you can come get the cable alarm terminal and get connected with any of this particular zone terminal but if you have a motion sensor pir or if you have a vibration sensor those sensors require power so those power you can take it from auxiliary plus and minus only the alarm terminal should get connected with this particular zone terminal now again if you talk about the alarm information from the sensor so now most of the sensors if you take securico or any brand sensors or even if it's few texicom sensors in normal condition normal condition in the sense when if it's a if you talk it uh, talk about a door sensor door contact when the door is in closed condition the sensor will send nc normally closed information to the panel or to the zone terminal when you open the door it will change into no so before connecting any alarm terminal to the zone you can check with using your multimeter continuity mode so if you are closing the door it will be nc it will give nc if you open the door it will give a no if it is okay then you can connect with the zone and if it, the same way you can test it all the sensors most of the sensors will give normal condition nc alarm, open alarm condition it will give no so test it before connecting it so that your installation will be fast so this then if you want to see more details about this board if you see here there could be a low default jumper available low default which normally required whenever you want to factory default this particular panel so to factory default this particular panel what need to do you need to switch off this particular panel and press this button and then switch on the panel so you need to press it continuously for next 30 seconds so that the panel will go to its factory default settings and other pin details if you see here you can see two com ports here this is called com2 and this is called com1 normally these terminals can be used to connect uh, with this uh, panel with your uh, Windex software of Texicom or if you have a Smartcom which is a mobile app supported module if you are kind of purchasing then you can connect this this is the wire comes along with this particular Smartcom one wire is a 4 pin other one will be a 2 pin this can get connected with this COM port wire 4 pin should get connected with COM1 and the two pin wire should get connected with com2 so these are the basic details about this particular panel now we will switch on this particular panel and see how the configuration is
So once you switch on the panel, the panel will start to give alarm signal and the display will be like it, system alert. Now we need to press password, engineer password which is 1234. So once you press 1234, the alarm sound will get stopped. So now this alarm is happened due to the timbre fault. The panel door is open. That is why we got this alarm. So now if we give the password, the sound will get stopped. Now what need to do? Again, you can press 1, 2, 3, 4. The first time when you access this panel, it will ask to set the language. The by default, do you want to set the language? Yes, press yes button by default it will show english uk you can press yes and again whenever you switch on the panel at the first time or if if there is any change on the network port connection it, it can be a keypad adder or the keypad has removed or even even any expander added or expander removed any changes in the network connection network port connection will detect by the panel based on that the keep you will get the display like engineer utilities confirm devices that means there is some changes has happened on the network port based on that it is asking to confirm the device you just press yes here it is showing this rkp remote keypad one number is connected so from here you can know uh, that you can connect maximum four keypads one remaining things are not connected that's why it's showing us dot 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 so that means four keypads can be supported by this particular panel and expander expander is wired expander or wireless expander anything you can connect here and the since it is not connected it is showing as dot but if you connect means then with the based on its address one and two it will show us one two okay so this is the way we can confirm what are the devices are detected by my panel so now what need you to press you can press yes so it will ask press yes again to confirm if you press yes again it may the same display will come what need to do you can press this notepad symbol that is nothing but in this moment it will like a back button you can press two or three times and it will show do you want to exit and lock off now you can press yes and you can lock off from the menu so now you switch on the panel and you confirmed the devices that uh, keypad is connected and detected by panel so now we want to do the basic configurations if you see in this panel display the battery fault is showing since my battery is not connected it is showing battery fault all these zones are showing as tamper because <coughs> i was I, am, I has not connected any sensor onto this particular panel and based on the zone type and zone wiring type it will show the zone fault so in my scenario this is a new panel i had just for testing i had connected two zones and other end i just shorted with a small wire shorted the wire so my wiring type is here my zone wiring type is normally closed so now i want to do some basic programming on the panel the first programming is zone programming, second programming is area programming, third setup is global option. So these three basic programming need to do uh, to start the configuration. So to do that, again you want to press the engineer password, it is 1, 2, 3, 4. So you will get a beep sound, again if it is not showing anything, you can press again 1, 2, 3, 4. So you will get the first menu option called zone setup. Zone setup is to do the programming of the zones. So yes, if you want to do the zone programming, yes, you can press yes. Now the first zone, zone 001, it by default it is, it is taken as a entry slash exit zone. So entry slash exit zone is nothing but if you connected some sensor, on the main door or it can be a main entry shutter contact so you want to apply some delay on the particular zone that means your panel is inside your house or inside your office after switching on or after arming the panel after arming the panel if you want to if you want some delay 
that means once you arm no if the particular zone immediately get activate no the sounder will immediately get activate so to overcome that for example if you have a main door main door after arming you have, you need some time to come out from the room and close the door so that those doors are if you have a shutter you are arming the panel using this keypad and you are you need to come out and close the shutter for that you need some delay so what are the sensors or what are the zones you need some delay those sensors need to be configured as entry slash exit one so for my case i am just setting as entry slash exit i don't want to do anything i just pressing as yes right so no need to change anything on attribute so attribute to no you just press yes area a don't want to do anything here we just press yes multiple times so you need to stop it at zone wiring See here the zone wiring is taken as double pole UIL but here my sensor is giving a normally closed signal in normal condition it is giving NC normally closed so I need to change it from double pole UIL into normally closed so to change anything you need to press no first then you need to use this up arrow or down arrow select the particular setting so here I need to change into normally closed and you need to press yes so any zone programming you need to do two settings only one is the zone type other one is zone wiring type now I changed it for zone 1 you can press yes further two to three times again you will go back to entry zone 1 entry exit 1 okay so the first zone programming is completed now if you want if you want to go to the next zone you can immediately you can go to press you can press the down arrow it will go to zone 2 programming so here it is mentioned by default the panel comes with uh, guard axis on zone 2 so what is guard axis 